I'm very happy to be here in Rwanda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. And I hope you go through this teaching and training all these four days. Now the teaching will help you in the ministry. And I encourage you to think of using this teaching yourself. Then you apply it in your teachings. Now this morning I'm going to talk about how to live in the love of God, the holiness of God. And also how to discern the grace and the law of God. Now I know that as Christians and pastors, we all know, you know, we live under the grace of God. But I want to say that sometimes, you know, Christians, even pastors, find themselves living under pressure. Even many pastors might say, well, I don't know if I do well enough. You know, I don't know, you know, why the church is not growing. I want the church to be growing and people love God and serve God. But they're not doing that. And then we have pressure. And we also might have accusation from ourselves. And say, well, I'm not doing well enough. And also we might have accusation of other people that other people accuse us. They say, Pastor, you're not doing well. Or we might say to some people, that I don't know if you're doing well in this area. Now, why do we have all this accusation and pressure? Because I want to say, basically, all people grow up under the law. Since childhood, people say to us, You're not doing well, I don't like you, I don't love you. And the whole or in the, in the school, people will say, You're not obeying, I don't like you. So we are always under the pressure to perform, to do better. Yeah. I use an illustration. Remember when you fell in love with your spouse when you first met him or her? You might be very motivated to, you know, to do different things for him or her. You know, if you, there's something he or she likes and then you would try to find a way to do it. That is motivation from love. But very often when people, after they get married, after they get married, they will say to each other, you didn't wash the dishes. 
You didn't put the post back in place. You don't listen to me. I don't like you. Let's have a divorce. Now let me ask you, have you noticed this difference when people are they fall in love and also after they get married for a, a period of time that could happen? Now, why did they have the motivation when they first fell in love? Could you say? Because they say, I like this person, and you know, she likes me. And when I look at him or her, she's happy. And so I like to be with her or him. There is love. And love motivates people to do anything for the girlfriend or boyfriend. But as time goes on, our law will come up. And they will, they will start to say, we will start to say, why didn't you call me yesterday? Where were you yesterday? We want the other person to do better and the other person wants us to do better. This is very much and it becomes a pressure. Now when we believe in Jesus, we know we live under the grace of God and the, uh, the love of God. It's so wonderful Jesus forgives me. And gives me eternal life. And then we feel very happy. But then we come across the law. You have, you know, we, we should read the Bible, we should pray. Now this is all true. But very often people will have a tendency to say, I have to do it. When they think of they have to do it, what happens is there is pressure. They might say to themselves, I did not pray enough. I have not loved God enough. I have not done well enough. And there is pressure. And also the members may give us pressure. Let me tell you, at one point of my ministry, when I start doing ministry, because there was criticism from co-workers and I started to say, Jesus, I want you to come back soon. And then I don't have to work so hard. Because there's always the pressure, you have to do better, you're not doing well enough. The pressure can come from outside or from inside of us. Now, let me ask you, has this happened to you? 
ushaka gukora cyane ukabona ntacyo wakoze cyangwa abandi bakagutera gukora cyane bijya bikubaho and and then it sometimes it become like a burden in the heart bima nari mari kiye bikuba mu mutwaro mu mutima wawe let me tell you i have gone through this pressure for years and one big transformation was in 1998 when an evangelist laid hand on me from Argentina his name is and the moment he touched me I felt power like electricity enter me Wamo <laughs> and we can experience his great love and also God gave me these ideas everything you do I'm happy with when you love me when you are faithful I'm happy you don't have to feel pressure. Because it's God's ministry. God has a way to do the ministry and change people and draw people to you. Imana ifite uburyo yikorera mu murimo wayo ishora no kugunzanira abantu wo kumushumba. Iyo bayo mwizerwe imbere yayo. Now, if we live under pressure, then we don't have strength. But if we know God really loves us, He loves me all the time. He is thinking of us all the time. He is blessing us all the time. And even a cup of cold I give to a little one. Can you do it? Did you respond? Can you do it? Can you give a cup of cold water to a little one? Can you do it? Now you can respond by nodding your head. And you can say, I love you. And then God is happy. And God will reward you. So all day long we can live under the grace of God. When I love God, God is very happy. When I bless people, God is very happy. He accepts everything I do for him if I do it for his glory. Then we can live in grace all the time. At the same time, I'm motivated to obey God in every single way. When I see that God loves me so much, and then he can raise my life to a high level. My life is so precious in his sight. And any little thing I do for him, he is very happy. Then I know that it's not hard to follow God. 
Nsanga ko gukurikira imana cyangwa kuba imana bitagoye. Everything I do for God is very happy. Eri kintu cyose nkore imana kirayinezeza. So when I wake up I say Niyo mpamvu mvuga God is loving me. Imana irankunda. God is with me. Imana iri hamwe nange. God wants to use me. Imana yakunkoresha imirimo ikomeye. And everything I do for him is happy. Kandi ibyo yikora byose birayinezeza. So I live in heaven. Nimuva rwose nibere kandi ndiye no kuri isi. No pressure. Because God will accomplish His work. Now I'm going to go through Bible passages to support that. But I first describe this mentality. And the blessings of God that came to me. And I want to say to you too. If you fall on to God all the time, we trust in God, we love God, we love God, we love God, we love God, and when we serve, we don't do it for money. We don't do it for our own glory. But I just want to glorify God. And I just want to glorify God. And bless people. God will be very happy with me. And the blessing is that we can say, "We are the ones who 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 Imanira nyishi mira. No pressure. Na kwa kwa kumuti ma. But at the same time, I obey God in every little way. Pero ije chose nza wandi muri nzira yayo. Because I know that God hates sin. Ije ije nza nza wandi nza kima na yani cha. Any sin will destroy my life. So if I notice any pride, I know that God loves me. Any pressure, I know that God loves me. So I just want to say to you, 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 I just want to as soon as these thoughts came into my mind of pride, in me I'll take care of it. When any unhappy feeling comes to me when I'm unhappy with someone, in me I'll take care of it. I say I don't want to be affected by any negative words. I just want to follow God's plan totally. And I notice that great things happen to me all the time. And I want to you too. In order for this country to have revival, for your church to have revival, it's not just for us telling you that you have to serve God, you have to serve God. But I will tell people, God loves you very much. God has a great plan in your life. Your life is very precious. Anything you do for God, God is very happy. And God will bless you. You want to enter God's plan. You know, people serve God with me. They're very happy and relaxed. Abantu benshi bako abakore n'Imana banezerewe bishimiye gukora n'Imana rwose bisanga bibere mu kinye gabaguwe neza Okay so this morning I'm going to talk about some Bible verses to let us know God's heart Yerohano ngiye kubereka ibyanditswe bigaragaza 
imitekereze y'Imana cyangwa ukwimana bishaka. You have been closely behind and before and laid your hand upon me. This one here. Now, what it says is that God is with us, in front of us, and behind us all the time, and laying his hand upon us to bless us. Imana itu jindere itu jani nyuma kandi ichiganda cha ichituriyo kujira bidu mujisha. Now some of us may say, is that true? Haru sora kuwa zichira kuwa kwa sinye no kuni. But let me say this. Let me ask you this question. Eka babasu chitibaza. When we disobey God, have we disobeyed God many times? You know, like when God say, don't be angry with me. And in our hearts sometimes we still be angry with someone. Is that what you say? Of course, we are not very man. What is the way man? Is that what we do? We just go out to conquer. Is that what we just do? That we should not be so fierce. We are not very man. There's sometimes we are frustrated with someone, and God tells us not to be frustrated. Just treat him with, you know, nicely. Is that not true? Aba jenzi ba chumba jema tu teri miba zo uka hagari kumuti ma uka kumuti ma uka wabara ishakuri jema kuko wiku kumuti ma wiki hagari kumuti ma but sometimes we still disobey God. Aliko tu kastangi ishakuri jema na tu kaju isuzuwe. Let me ask you. Eka mbavaze. An average Christian in one week, how many times has he disobeyed God? Eka mbavaze. Nikanga he. When we disobey God, does God say, I don't want you anymore? You know, God always moves in our heart to change our heart. Even when we disobey him. Even when we disobey him. The Holy Spirit came to convict the world of sin, of righteousness, and of the judgment. You know this? That's John 16 verse 8. So when we disobey him, the Holy Spirit is patient to put in our hearts. You know, let me say this. When you go to some of the toilets in some countryside, it's very smelly, right? It's bad smell. When you go into toilets like that, you want to quickly finish and come out, right? Let me ask you, if you have no place to live, do you want to live in a toilet, a dirty toilet? Do you know? So we hate that bad smell. Now for God, He hates it much more than we hate it, this bad smell. The Bible has talked about that. When people say God is angry. But when this person is sitting, when God comes into his heart, he smells the sin and says, This is terrible. 
Uyu mugabo yakoze ibyaha byinshi cyane Imana ikihumuriza mu mutima we isanga afite umuruko mwinshi tego tabaga ari kuyu muntu afite ibyaha byinshi no It's like when you go to a smelly toilet you want to hold your breath Wabona iyo giye muri toilet cyangwa muri west musara numuka cyane ugerageza kuvuka mazuru yawe ngo bitakunukire So the hearts of many Christians are bad and smelly But God did not give us up. He patiently worked in our heart to touch our heart. That is the great love of God. Let me ask you, if you, one of your friends, when you say, please, I'd like to spend some time with you and say, I don't want you. Let me ask you, if you, one of your friends, when you say, please, I'd like to spend some time with you and say, I don't want you. And the next time you ask him again, and he say, no, I don't want to see you. Do you want, still want to see him? If he keep rejecting you? But let me tell you, we have rejected God many times. God says don't tell a lie. Pero don't and God says don't be angry with the person. And God says don't do it for your glory. Don't just want people to admire you as a great pastor. But sometimes we reject that. How many times do I, you know, come and Christian or pastor reject God in a whole lifetime? We have rejected him hundreds of thousands or even millions of times. But every time when we sin, instead of leaving us, he moves in our heart, he's in front of us and behind us, and he lay hand on us to bless us. And that is his great love and patience. God's love and patience is beyond our imagination. When we realize how many times we rejected God and God still works in our heart, we say, Lord, you are so wonderful. Why do you love me so much? After I experienced the Holy Spirit when the evangelist lay hand on me and I experienced his great love. But then I realized I saw how God patiently worked in my heart. I said, God, I don't want to offend you anymore. Because the Holy Spirit 
ndangiye ndava ni mana kwa murimo wa murije sinzi igera na rimwe gukomeretsa cyangwa rongera kukubabaza and everywhere i read the bible i see the grace of god and his holiness umurogose somye muri bibilia mbona urukundo rw'imana nkabona kwera kwayo god is beautiful and glorious beyond our imagination mana yo ni nziza cyane irera irakiranuka birenze ibyo twashobora gutekereza and also after experience the holy spirit every time i pray i feel power go through my whole body yerero ko mundeba igihe cyose yumfashe yumfashije iyo ntangiye gusenga ndyo kuko mumva mashanyaraze anyinjiye mu rwose uhereye mu mutwe no kugera ku irenge and i also experience joy <laughs> every time i think of jesus hallelujah na reko ko mubyishima no kubona ntangiye gusenga buri byanze now let me tell you reka babwire it's not me laughing It's the joy of the Lord. Now let me tell you the lady there standing at the door there. Ah, when I was praying, you know, I prayed for her and I prayed for someone. And then after I prayed for her, she went back to her seat and then she started to be filled with the joy of the Lord. Namaza kumusengera ageze mu ndebe yitayari aba kuri kuri twenye kwa ibyishimo well, by'Imana. We will live in a love of God and the joy of God life is very different. Roho ni twibere mu rukundo rw'Imana ubuzima bwo burahinduka neza uri icara rwose ugaseka namu gukirigize. There's no more pressure. Rwose ngo kweri nta gitutu ntago ari umutima wa bikikuri but the relaxation and joy aho buzima burajya bukabikinyenga nuko guga neza ukanezerwa and you can enjoy your ministry and your life basa kuko nako sisimbu kako sikinagira nk'inyana and enjoy ministry ukishimira no mu murimo w'Imana ukora now i ask you to share what happened to you on that day and also afterwards what happened to you can you share come hello uvuge nawe isako y'ibyishimo byawe kuko twakubonye uramwenyura Ego ngino hano kuna nyegere ngo naka kamera kakuhufate. Nisashimeta. Amen. Ubuki soko yo kumwedura kwawe. Nje usanga bwana munezero. Eh, era ni byatu kwe tranese bishekeje mu kumureba wabushoye kwisejya n'umuka mu dugase. Ntabwo nari turiye bizimuka bera ngwino gusenge. Mageze afasha no nejeje bari mu gukorana aseka je rwose kata muruzi muka rero no bazigo no nibyo no nje nishije she is talking how much you pray for her when can you interpret yes uh, what is she saying anyway he listening and interpreting yeah you interpret english yes facing the camera yeah So she was talking about how when she was prayed for, she was in fact overjoyed. When she was seated down there, she said the feeling she got of joy and the love of God, she experienced it. So she was very much excited of it. Uh, so even now she's still experiencing it, that's why I can see her with a good smile. And also afterwards, how it was when she prays at home? Eh, no, no, to hear it, you just said, Muruko, Uras, Uras, Sekavi, come, Urame, you ran in the moon as a Raja Commission. I'm still having that, experiencing that kind of joy, even when I'm at home. Hallelujah. Now, then, Amen. What did she say? Yeah, she is still shooting that. Okay. Okay. Now turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Relax. Relax. Go to the house. Now try this. Cry to Jesus. Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Cry from your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 H
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now, we can all live like that. Because God is a loving God, a joyful God, and a powerful God. When we understand how God ministered to us, He's in front of us and behind us all the time, and lay His hand upon us to bless us all the time, even when we disobey Him. So when we disobey him, he still ministered to us. And when he enters our heart, he can smell sin, and sin smells terrible. But God did not give up. It's like you go to a toilet. You hold your breath. And God, when He smells our sin, He put it down and He keep working on this person's heart, even though this person's life is terrible. Do you believe that God really hates it? He really hates it, right? It's hard for him to be with a person who has sinned in his heart. But God put it down and keep working on a person's life. It's like the parable of the prodigal son. The prodigal son has been feeding pigs. How is his smell? How does he smell? He will smell bad, right? And then he walked all the way home and with a lot of sweat all over the body he would smell terrible. But when the father saw him come the father was very happy to see his son come back. And then he ran up to hug his son. But when he come close to him, he can smell the bad smell. And he still hugged the son. And then he kissed the son. The smell is even stronger. But the father doesn't mind. And hugged him and kissed him and gave him great gifts. And we can see the love of the Father. It's the same way God has loved us so much. I want to say this, don't live like an orphan. Many Christians and even pastors sometimes live like orphans. Sometimes we say, oh, I'm lonely, I don't have help. And people don't like me. 
We live like orphans sometimes. But when we see the great love of God, and we see your know, every morning I wake up and say, God loves me. Ha ha ha. Ha Anytime I pray to him, God is very happy. Anytime I obey him and serve him, God is very happy. So all day long I rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Ha ha. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Ha ha. Because God's love is so great. He accepts all sinners. He, he came to seek and to save the lost. Not just the lost, non-Christians outside. He came to seek all the Christians and pastors who are lonely, who are burdened. He came to the more I think about his patience and his love and acceptance, I feel really, it's so wonderful to have such a wonderful God. And then, Anything we do for God, if with a heart to love God, God remembers and blesses us. Now, I want to share a little bit how God blesses me. To encourage you, when you follow God totally and live in His love, you'll be blessed greatly too. One time I fly, I flew to Africa to do mission work. I go to different countries to do mission work to train people. And I missed the plane because I thought, you know, I, I miscalculated the time. And then I asked the person, you know, what happened now? And she said the plane is left, uh, we have to rebook the ticket. And then I went to the rebooking counter and the woman said it's very difficult. Another And then later, I prayed to God, I said, God, you have a way to fix this. With man it's impossible, but with you everything is possible. And then I went up to the lady again, please make a phone call and find out what can be done about my ticket. And then she made a phone call, and when she made a phone call, her look was in surprise, great surprise. And then she told me the plane came back. And then she told me the plane came back. And then she told me the plane came back. And I asked the people in the plane what happened in the plane. The plane had problems and could not take off, so it came back. So what I'm saying is, when I did not get on the plane, the plane could not take off. That's how God can help us. Also, there was Hallelujah. 
Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, there are ten times people did not know me yet. They dream and they saw me in the dream. Ten times. Or in the vision. One time I went to South Africa. And a sister told me the day when I came, she had a dream the night before. And in a dream she was chased by someone. She was, she was afraid. And then she went to a house and saw a Chinese boy inside. When she went inside, she saw some Chinese praying. She said it was the only time she has dreamed to see Chinese in her dream. And then I came up to her and I said, Can I pray for you? And then in the dream I lay hand on her and I prayed to her and then immediately she was filled with joy and love in the dream. And she laughed in the dream. And she woke up laughing. <laughs> now this is God's way of confirming my ministry there to tell the people that God was show in a dream to support my ministry. And and let me experience the Holy Spirit and change my life and I, see the, I saw the wonderful blessings and the love of God and then I said I want to follow God totally I want to love God all the time. But I have to be careful when I pray to God. And I want to serve Him totally. And take care of all my sins. When I responded to God like that, I felt the Holy Spirit. God is very happy with me. And I want to say that to you. When you really love God, God is the best that can happen to me. I want to please God, not to please people. I want to do whatever God is happy with. I want to do whatever God is happy with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when it doesn't help my church. You know, I have many videos online. You look at YouTube and look for Pastor Yip Y.I.P. And then you write English, Pastor Yip English. And then you can find many videos. Many people sought my help from over the world. And, and, I, help, and I help these people unconditionally without cost. And I want to say to you, 
When I do all these things to people, even in Hong Kong, I do things to people in other churches, I don't pull people to my church. I just want to bless people. You know, I'm 66 years old already. God has given me great strength and health. I can retire in Hong Kong and just relax every day. But now I'm motivated to serve God more and more and bless more people. Now I do all this without pay, even in Hong Kong. What I want to say is, if we do things just for God and to bless people, God is very happy with you. And we know that God is responsible for our ministry. Now, hallelujah. Recently, someone with a prophetic gift, God draws this person and he, her team to come to my group to help me. When she saw my heart and my desire to bless people, she really likes that and, and then she came to help me. What I want to say is, if you really love God, God will bring people to you. Hallelujah. Let me talk about how some people say, I don't see God's love. I'm going to say some areas that we can see God's love. First, now you can write this down. You will see God's love in nature. We can see God's love in the food we eat. Do you like eating? 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 Do you like e